Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I know I look rough, like always. I'm here feeding my baby, and uh, there is dad. Yeah, can't see me, but I really thought that I told y'all where I was coming, <laughs> and I didn't. Um, my suegra actually bought a terreno so they can build like um, a type of like finca. Obviously, I'm here with Tadeo and you know feeding him and whatever. I'm actually not doing anything because I'm taking care of my baby. Um. But yeah, we're here. It's actually really far. Like, we thought it was gonna be closer, but it's really far. Like, it's really far from the house. But you know, they want this to be like a type of like getaway um, finca, you know, a place where we can come and we can just hang out, do parties or, you know, whatever. Something like my mom, like what she has, her finca. And yeah. It's a really nice day, it's sunny, and it was really windy, but right now it's getting pretty hot. But yeah, we're here, I'm feeding Tadein, and the sun is like on his face, and I'm trying to like cover it. Um, <laughs> but yeah. They're over there. Um, what was I saying? Oh, that yesterday I didn't take my makeup off. And um, I got a pimple in my nose. Like, that's nasty. Um, And yes, I'm wearing my ugly jacket. Like, I didn't plan this, but I mean, we're in the dirt. Like, literally, like. Yeah, I don't care if this jacket gets ripped or, you know. I cannot see that. That's really dirty. But they're over there cleaning it out. So, yeah. That's how it looks without nothing. And then later on, it's going to be a big house. And I'm excited, to be honest. It's a beautiful day today and I am halfway getting ready and just because I want to do a sit down video of where have I been like my life has been completely crazy this past few weeks and I actually wanted to sit down and tell, tell y'all what's going on but you know what we're getting ready and um the other day we were actually moving stuff around and i knocked down my little ring light so i don't have nowhere to put my phone which sucks Gio and i talked about whenever that it would turn six months i would go back to work yes i was looking for a job yes i was you know looking everywhere i was you know applying for this applying for that i actually got one that you know they called me and they were like okay like you know like if you want to come like you know come so i went they told me about the job i thought it was easy it was about a receptionist in a hotel i told them that i had a baby and they were like mm, you know all everywhere i went they asked me if i had kids and obviously i have to say yes and they were like okay no problem um it's okay and you're the only one that knows english and there's more people at in the morning so my hours were going to be from seven to three with no seven to two no seven to three with no um hours to eat you know 
So I was like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I can eat breakfast here at the house. I can just go. You know, I can be right back. And my baby won't be alone for a long time. I really liked that. And the pay was going to be really good because of one, bilingual. Two, because it was going to be like in the morning. And I was going to do, you know, mm, all more stuff. You know what I mean? So they were like, yeah, you can come. And I was like, oh, my God, this is great. I love this. Um, I went and they were like, okay, you know what? You can come at 12 till 9. And I'm like, okay, but y'all told me at the beginning that my hours were going to be from 7 to 2, to 3. Like, now why are y'all changing it? And they're like, oh, no, it's because you can't, you can't do that. And I'm like, okay, well, then how are going to be my hours? And they're like, okay, well, this week is going to be from 12 to 9. And next week is going to be from 4 p.m. to like 12.30 p.m. So, 30 no 12 30 a.m and i'm just like i'm sorry what i was like um okay well um let me talk to my husband about it okay and i didn't go i didn't go the next day um i was just like you know what um thank you for the opportunity but um no thank you because y'all told me one thing and then i went the other week and then y'all are changing everything up like no so then I was like, okay, but I really need to do something. I need to get to work because I don't like being at home. No, not producing no money for, you know, bill payments and all of that. So, and another thing is that I didn't want to leave Tadeo in daycare. I didn't want to leave him with anybody else. You know, like it was, you know, it's just something there. Like he's still little. He still needs me. And that's what I think. I didn't want to leave him with anybody else, not even his mom or my mom. And, I mean, I already talked to y'all about the situation that my mom doesn't live here. You know, she lives outside of the city. And then his mom, um, she takes care of her other two um, granddaughters. So, it was just going to be a lot. I need to get done getting ready because my baby's about to get fussy again. And my husband's about to get here again. And, um... I'm actually making dinner right now, and hello, Oli, ¿cómo está usted? Ay, yo sí te amo, yo te amo a ti tanto. What are you doing? You playing? Yeah. Oh, I got a little bit of 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 a little bit I am, oh my god, like, what, like, oh my god, like, I can't, um, nah, I'm good, I'm good, but I, I feel a little bit, you know, tipsy, I feel a little bit up there, um, so today my husband gum, comes from work, and I'm like, hey, I want to invite you to the movies, like, let's go, you know, and he's like, um, I don't want to go to the movies. Like, we should go out somewhere else. And I'm like, all right. You know, whatever you want. And so I called my mom and I was like, hey, um, my dad, he always comes at night, um, to the city, um, to go to this grupo, you know, stuff. So I told her, I was like, why don't you come with him and the time that he's over there we're gonna like go out you know be like boyfriend and girlfriend again um act like we're like in a little date and she was like yeah of course i'll go so she like went like around eight and it's like around 9 30 and me and Gio, we decided to go to this little bar like literally we were the first ones there like what um they were like barely like mopping and all of this and i thought it was so funny because i was like these are the only hours that we can come you know like mom and dad's hours <laughs> so it was fun we were just there chilling and we were drinking and we were having a good time right now i need to pee like really bad
I didn't go pee because the restrooms were really ugly and nasty and I didn't want that, you know? But I should have have because I need to pee really bad. And right now, um, I'm waiting for him to come with the tacos because we were wanting some tacos and I'm here waiting for him in the car. But that is our night. I feel like it's a pretty nice date. We were laughing so much. We were talking about, you know, random stuff. We were talking about how life is and how we love each other. And I feel like that's one of the things that I really enjoyed about this night. That we actually got ourselves some time for ourselves. Not thinking about, you know, Tadeo, not thinking about anything else, but it was just me and him in the moment. And, you know, really enjoy my moment tonight. And I really hope we have more dates like this because we need some like this. Um, whenever we started going out, it was the pandemic and we didn't really get to go out that much literally everything closed and then after that that's whenever i got pregnant and i didn't want to go out to eat anywhere and you know it was just the pregnant stuff it was just we would just go out to like the little park or whatever but not actually sit down and have a beer and you know talk about life and i mean i know you should not be drinking and talk about life i mean you can do it whenever you want to but you know it's just that vibe of girlfriend and boyfriend when you start meeting someone you get that feeling and that's what i felt today so i really feel good i feel good i feel good with that relationship hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel i have missed y'all so much like literally it's been a month since like i last uploaded a video and i mean i've been recording but i just don't upload them because i feel like they're not like entertaining you know um but i'm back at it i'm i miss y'all and i can't not believe that we're almost to 500 subscribers like y'all guys might think it's a little but for me it's a lot like i never thought that like almost 500 people would like subscribe to my channel how i found out that i was pregnant i cannot believe how far that video like has made it so yeah for that also thank you so much and thank you for all the sweet uh, messages thank you for all the sweet comments like oh my god like you're always with that same jacket and i always say it in all my videos and it's like yo i do my business and everything with this jacket like literally it's like I live in this like literally yes i wash it like don't say that i don't because i do okay yeah life has been blessed more than everything i'm so excited um i haven't told y'all guys this i think i left y'all with that i thought that i was gonna go back to work or looking for a job i think that's what i told y'all but um me and geo decided that um you know i don't want to leave my baby with anybody else you know nor my mom or my suegra or a daycare i don't want to leave him there because i feel like he's too little and you know if i can do something from home then you know and take care of the house and take care of my baby then you know yes like bring it to me you know um so we decided to do like a type of little store with makeup goodies whatever so i'm actually gonna tell y'all a little bit about like you know like where do i get all this stuff and everything um uh, my arm is getting tired i'm sorry so actually we have looked for some you know companies in mexico city that actually bring the packages to my doorstep we order you know like um i don't know like a makeup um little clips for the hair like the one that i'm wearing right now y'all can't see it but um that uh makeup palettes and sponges whatever you know um and we actually order it this is our 
fifth order that I'm gonna do today and yeah I'm so excited like I'm happy because well I mean it's it has its pros and his cons you know his the pros is that you know I get to do it by home and my husband you know whenever he comes from work he takes me to the places so I like I can meet the people and you know give them their stuff and for them to give me my money we come back with money I'm with my baby I'm with him you know I don't leave my house unattended or anything or neither my husband or my baby you know that's what I really, really, really like. But the other thing is that I actually don't know anybody here. Like, I don't have friends here. I don't go out. Um, like, I don't have anybody here. But um, my suegra, my cuñada, or cuñada, I think that's what it is. Yeah, cuñada. Um, she's actually helping me, you know, because she's from Ranchito, so she actually buys the stuff for me, and then she goes to the Rancho, and she sells them for a little bit more, so she can have extra money, you know what I mean? So that's what's really helping me, and, you know, people, I post it, like, on Facebook or Marketplace, and it's actually coming out, you know, people are like, hey, you know what, like, I want, like, look, like, I'm selling these type of, um, scrubs do the work like they're amazing and they cost 70 pesos it's like i don't know like girl like those cuatro seis ocho like three bucks three bucks and something um if we convert it in pesos in dollars but um yeah like i'm actually selling them we actually keep kept one because girl like oh my god like i've been selling stuff but literally i've been keeping one of each because like the good the stuff are so good so i actually kept one of these and it's for me and my husband because he actually likes them and some other wash thingy so yeah that's what i've been doing and it's actually going slowly but surely and i couldn't be more excited um, other thing that I've been doing is me and my mom have actually gone to the Tianguis and, you know, try to sell stuff. Um, it's been crazy because literally you have to wake up like around 6, you have to get there like around 7, you stay there, you sell, you put all the stuff back, and you go home. Like, it's just crazy. But the first week, actually, it went pretty well. Like, like yeah, we sold really good. Um, and these past two weeks are not being so great. Like yesterday, uh, we went and it was a crazy day. It was really windy, um, sunny. Like literally you can see my, look at this. Okay. Like girl, can you see the stripes? Like they're from my mask. Like you can tell, like it was bad. Like it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. Um, but yeah that's what i've been doing also so like it's just been crazy my baby it just woke up i'm getting ready because we're gonna go for the grocery shopping today because i actually don't have anything for tadeo anymore like literally um i made his papilla and you know the same thing that the other day um i'm sorry i keep looking at my door oh my god i need to get ready because my husband about to get here always like you know i need to hurry but anyways, this is the stuff that I'm selling. It's the same clothes that I had over there in my other closet. It's slowly but surely, you know, I don't know if you have seen it or I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think I posted. It was a box with another bag with another bag with like three bags outside. And we came down to two bags. Like, I'm pretty excited. That stuff where mom is my mom's and she left it here. So, Yeah. And then this is Tadeo's clothes that don't fit him anymore, which I'm selling also. And these are my nephew's um, shoes. Um, some Crocs, you know. Um, some Adidas. Um, you know, whatever. It, these are like Sperry's, I think. Because I think we're gonna like do something outside of my house, like do like a type of like um yard sale or something. Because we literally need all this stuff to be gone. Like literally, we're at to a point that we're giving everything a dollar. 
they get don't even matter anymore like that is just how stressed i am to get this stuff out of my house because it's just junk and i don't want to throw it away you know because like the the situation right now um with money wise it's not so like you know great for me to be throwing stuff and i feel like 20 pesos are it's good you know for for a jacket that is decent or you know yeah but anyways enough of that um, i'm gonna show y'all um we got a new sala oh my god don't mind the stroller like i just kept it there but um and don't mind that i was just saying that up. but anyways we got a new sala this is actually was in my grandpa's other house well my grandpa's house uh but it was my mom's so she was like do you want it and i was like hey what's up let's go so yeah we cleaned we took the little pillows to the washer thingy where they wash stuff and yeah they did that and we cleaned the sofas and this is what we have the other day uh i think it was monday my mom came and she actually helped me paint this wall and this wall and you know all my white walls so thank you mom shout out to you um and yeah that's what it is that's what it is that's what it is the table is the same um it's actually dirty because i haven't cleaned it but um tadeo's food right there tadeo's water um that's a trapo these are just trash bags that we went to go buy yesterday because i didn't have any um this is one of the other palettes that i'm actually selling i don't know why i have it oh yeah because my cousin actually like she told me to like to save her one so yeah it's this look let me oh my god i need to get ready but let me show y'all real quick okay so it's this one and then there it opens up like this and this one oh my god i just touched one whoopsie and this one and this one so yeah wow this cost 150 i don't know how much is that in dollars but yeah like that's what i've been up to and that's what my life been up to and you know um and these are just change if you didn't know pesos this is what pesos are. I'm gonna show y'all. This is a five pesos. Ooh, fancy. Oh my god, can you focus or no? Can you focus or no? There you go. This is a five pesos. These is actually, i never seen these like what in my life, but these are actually 20 pesos. You can see the 20 right there. So, then this is a 10 pesos. And then this is a pet. Oh, this is two pesos. And this is a peso. So it is the next day um last night we just like we didn't even put up the groceries we came home I was super tired I didn't want to do anything and they took a shower last night um Gio and Tadeo and I took one this morning which is like bad idea because today was really cold and I'm freezing right now Say hi to them. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> um, actually, like, I took a shower and I cleaned everything. I already did, like, two laundries and everything is cleaned, which I love. And I can just lay here in bed with my baby the whole day now. Because literally, I already made his food. Like his pupapure. His pupapure. His like papilla. Which today he's going to eat calabaza. 
with broccoli and espinaca. He really likes those, like that combination of the three of them. Look, look, I'm gonna show you my baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is baby. He's super long. He's super long. Look at his. He is he started to teeth. Oh my god, he is really dirty. <laughs> he was drinking milk. Um hold on, hold on. Hold on, papas, hold on, hold on. Let me clean you up. Hold on. Um, he was eating some he was eating some cookies that we bought him the other day in the groceries. Oh no, yesterday, yesterday we actually bought some cookies for him and he really liked them. I thought, you know, he wasn't going to like them because, I don't know, but he actually really liked it. There we go, papacito. Oh my God, what is that on your nose? Is that a booger? What is that? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're covering the camera now. There you go. There's a clean baby. Today in the morning, Gio, uh, every time he leaves, he gives him obviously a kiss and, you know, tell, telling him that to take care of the house and to take care of mommy and all of that. And he said today that he's starting to have a, my eyes I'm um, like, he's been having my eyes. That's the only thing that he has of me. Because everything else is just like his dad. The same nose, the same mouth. Like, everything. Yeah. I don't know if I show y'all guys um my boxes. That's where I keep everything like literally everything that i sell like look he's starting to sit more and more <laughs> okay he's just okay all right um right it's just some stuff in here and um this is actually mine Um, but yeah, like, um, there's some makeup things. This is a, um, what's it called? A, what's it called? What's it called? All that. It's using, it's for the face and it has a little, you know, cepillito right here. And it's for that. This one, and then this is the soap that everybody's using. I also have this. Um, I have the sponges. It's like the beauty sponge, whatever. Um, I actually like those because I actually bought one for this girl. And I like mine whenever I water them, like whenever I wet them, to get big. And the one that I bought her, it did not get like big and it was like hard. And those actually, like they do get big. So I, I actually kept one for myself. Um, and then um, these are, what's it called? Concealer. Um, and these are just like palettes. This is cute or whatever. Like, let me show y'all. Like, let me show y'all. Lila, this is the one, and voila, it's so pretty. And it has a mirror or whatever. But yeah, and they smell really good too. This 
and I have more back here which is highlight and you know blush and whatever and yeah I have some body sprays which they smell really good and yeah down there there's more now I'm just selling that stuff and you know really cheap and to get extra money and you know to be here with my baby and like my husband says lay down the whole day yeah of course yeah um, um but yeah I'm super blessed and um, baby is here playing with all his toys and everything and yeah but i think i'm gonna end up this video right here so i don't make them too long i don't make them too short i'm just gonna show y'all like what what's going on in my life because i really really a lot of things have been going on in my life that i haven't posted anything about which is bad for me or bad yeah bad for me um but anyways, um, thank you so much again for almost 500 subscribers. I cannot believe that. And let's keep going for more. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, um, which is Teresa Gandara. Uh, well, Teresa G. Gandara. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stay safe and, you know... Oh. oh my god, salud! <laughs> Baby boy is crazy, but... Alright guys, thank you, bye!